press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Before we begin with today's top 3 headlines, let's have a look at some recent developments. After 32 years of service to the nation, Indian Navy frigate INS Kanga will be placed in non-operational category from May 28, followed by decommissioning. INS Kanga is a guided missile frigate which was commissioned on December 30, 1985. Two M777 ultralight howitzer guns have reached Pok Run with an American team for testing the guns, which will be carried out over the next two to three months. During the testing, different kinds of ammunition will be fired, following which due analysis will be conducted. The Indian Army's new recruitment process will have a computer-based written test before the medical and physical examinations. This new process will be implemented by the end of 2017. Israel Aircraft Industries has signed a deal worth $630 million with Indian state-owned company, BEL. Israel will supply the marine version of the Barak 8 air defense system to be installed on four Indian Navy vessels. A new form of a bacteria has been found on the filters of International Space Station. Researchers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the foremost lab of NASA, working on interplanetary travel, discovered the new bacteria and named it Soli Bacillus Kalami to honor the late Indian president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam who was a renowned aerospace scientist. The second prototype of the indigenously developed basic trainer aircraft, HTT-40, has made its maiden flight. The commercial production of the aircraft can generate 3,000 to 4,000 crore rupees. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited aims to get the aircraft certified in 2018. Indian Navy looks to buy subsurface vessels to detect undersea threat. Indian Navy wants three variants of the underwater vessel for inspection, combat, and training role. The purchase order is expected to be approximately $95 million. Now let's begin with the top three headlines. According to sources, the Indian Army wants the latest version of the American Apache 64D attack choppers from the US through the foreign military sales case for its aviation arm. The 1.3 million strong army is seeking the government's approval for acquisition of Apache attack helicopters from the US as a follow-on contract to the earlier deal which was inked for 22 such choppers for the Indian Air Force. If the procurement gets the ministry's approval, it will make the Indian Army one of the biggest operators of these choppers in the country. The Indian Army wants three squadrons of heavy-duty attack helicopters, among other choppers, for its three primary strike corps, geared for quick armed thrusts into enemy territory. The Indian Army has already placed to order for 114 indigenously developed light combat helicopters which is in advanced stage of induction and has also ordered round 60 Rudra helicopters <laughs> India is likely to use its indigenous Arjun tanks at the 2017 International Army Games which will be held in Russia and four other countries the third edition of the Games, which are the brainchild of Russian Defense Minister, will include a variety of contests and competitions between members of the armed forces of several countries. China is also taking the International Games very seriously. For the 2016 tank biathlon, Chinese engineers developed a special version of the main tank of the Chinese Army, T-96B. 
These games display both the competitive nature of the participants and the spirit of military brotherhood. The Indian Navy and the Singapore Navy have successfully concluded a week-long bilateral military exercise in the South China Sea, during which they conducted a series of advanced naval warfare drills, including air defense exercises and gunnery firings. The Singapore Navy deployed two frigates, RSS Formidable, equipped with S-70B naval helicopter, RSS Supreme, with a missile corvette, RSS Victory. The Indian Navy participated with two frigates, INS Sahyadri and INS Shivlik, INS Camorta, an Oilar, INS Jyoti, and a P-8I maritime patrol aircraft. Aside from the inaugural participation of Republic of Singapore's F-15 SG fighter aircraft, the Singapore also deployed F-16D plus fighter aircraft and a Fokker 50 maritime patrol aircraft for the exercise.